uh, from China went up 21%. Exports from Kenya to China went up 30%. Now, overall, if you look at the trade business, in the same period where globally it's, it's gone down, but between Kenya and China, it's gone, by, it's gone up by 20%. So we think this is really, uh, these are indications that support our, our view around making the yuan available on the market. Right. And if you look at the infrastructure projects, there will be a lot of imports that are also coming in uh, from China. All right, and seeing that CFC Stanbeck has positioned itself as the very first bank to now uh, trade the, the Chinese currency, how is this going to work? Okay, so for starters, if you look at it right now, um, if you have a Chinese uh, business entity operating in Kenya, the trading currency will be the shilling. Um, if they have to transfer money, uh, they will convert into dollars and then convert into yuan. Mm -hmm. And there are two pain points there where they can be hit by currency fluctuations. What we're saying is um, we are making available yuan in two forms. They can open a Chinese yuan account that we will host locally. So they can convert directly from shilling to yuan and cutting out one leg where there's a, a possibility of being hit by currency fluctuation and then transfer the yuan uh, to China. If they want cash as well, they can also withdraw cash. So, so it's really where we're positioning it. All right. Um, seeing that we also have increased investment from China into yes. Kenya, how do you hope this is going to impact on uh, trade, both locally and also in China? I think, I think in terms of the increased trade, um, it means that the volumes will be bigger, so there's a lot of currency movement. And if you reflect on the scenario I played out earlier, because you have two points where uh, the importers can be hit uh, by currency fluctuations, it means that we're minimizing or we're helping our customers minimize the risk. If you help them minimize the risk, it means that maybe that could then have a positive impact on the cost of the landed product on the market because they're not factoring in exchange control losses. Mm -hmm. And maybe it could then be the, the spike we needed to see increased flow of, uh, of trade between Kenya and China. All right. Um, I'm, I'm thinking that CFC Stanbeck must have carried out some sort of study uh, to figure out uh, how exactly this is going to go. Um, but from your studies, if any were conducted, um, did, were you able to find out the number of uh, Chinese traders, say, for instance, that we have in Kenya today and the number of Kenyans who frequently uh, go to China? For, I, I for actually business? don't have the specifics, but yes, we did carry out uh, some research. Mm -hmm. And also of interest to note is that uh, ICBC, which is the biggest uh, bank in the world, yeah. is, uh, owns 20% of the Standard Bank Group. So because of, of that relationship we have, they, they've always been giving us feedback to say, look, there's increased flows um, into Africa, specifically through Kenya as, as, a, as a port of entry into, into the Eastern African region. Um, and they're always giving us a heads up on customers coming into the region, either through South Africa or through Kenya. And because of that, we thought it was really ideal to actually make this possible for them. Uh, and I think as an extension to that, we've just launched uh, in South Africa a product that allows direct transfer of funds. Yeah. Um, so it's riding off the yuan account, um, but it's available out of South Africa in three currencies, South African rand, dollar, and the yuan. But it means that the customers can then, like a direct connection between us and ICBC Bank in China. Mm -hmm. So customers can actually move money between the two countries and pay less. The next country for that uh, product is actually Kenya. So we are going to go into the pilots. I think we're ideally positioned. Right. Uh, well, CFC Stanbeck, uh, Kenya, is one of the top forex traders we have, yes. not just in Kenya, but in the region. Um, are you leveraging on uh, now trading in the yuan to further boost forex trading? Oh, most definitely. Um, mm. In the fund analysis, everybody will always look at what's, what it's costing them to convert currency. Um, and if we take out one leg between the, the, the shilling, dollar, and yuan, you take out one leg, that whole experience becomes cheaper. Mm -hmm. And it should actually reflect in the bottom line of the customers that are trading that. So be, besides being the, the number one player of in, in the foreign currency market, in, in not only in Kenya, but in East Africa, we think we're going out there to say, we've got the capacity to handle your business. Uh, by volume, we'll give you savings because we're giving you a, a, a most direct and seamless way of converting currency. So yeah, we're taking advantage of our position. Okay. Yeah. Well, thank you so much, Ben. Wonder, wonder for speaking to us about uh, CFC Stanbeck's now trading the Chinese Yuan. Thank and you I guess much. it's the first bank in Kenya uh, to do this. So we are going to be uh, speaking more about this and see exactly how this develops in coming days and coming months. I guess this is in regard to uh, Forex trading. But we'll now take a look at other top business stories uh, making headlines here on KTN News and we'll be back now to speak to the county executives here at City Hall, the Nairobi City County Headquarters.